Aloha, everybody. I am Kayo Malik. I'm joining you from Maui. And uh, as an acupuncturist and herbalist, I look at life and health um, from the point of view of Chinese medicine. So I'm here to talk about seasonal wellness and particularly how to stay healthy during the summer as summer solstice is approaching. And um, this is based on what we call five element theory in Chinese medicine, where, um, well, we are considered to be a part of nature, of course, and um, of the universe and influenced by the seasons and other forces in the universe. And as a part of the universe and nature, we can enhance our health by attuning um, to the seasons and adjusting our lifestyle and habits and things like that. Hi, Donna Marie, um, to the season, seasons in order to stay optimally healthy. And summer solstice is approaching next week. Um, so, you know, summer is upon us here in, in Maui. We're definitely feeling the heat already. And I know other places too are experiencing heat waves. Aloha. So, um, in Chinese medicine, we say that uh, there's an element associated with each season. So, summer is uh, associated with the fire element. Makes sense, right? Um, it's considered to be the most yang of the five elements. Like, wintertime would be the most yin, the water element, where the energy is going downwards. But in the summer, yang energy rises upward and outwards. It's the time when this yang energy that started rising in the spring expands to its maximum potential. So an awareness of the energy of this season, hola, and also the qualities um, of um, this hottest season helps balance uh, our own fire element within. We also consider fire from a spiritual level to um, the virtue of fire in Chinese medicine is con considered joy. So on a deeper level, level, the fire element expresses itself as joy and manifests within us as love, laughter, and enthusiasm. This is really the time of the year to really be outgoing. You know, in the winter time, we might be more withdrawn, spending more time indoors and kind of resting and nourishing. But this season of maximum expansion allows us to express ourselves to the fullest. So summer's special gift, this energy of fire, allows us to give and receive warmth. By giving and sharing, we both build our own fire within, open our own flower, and bring more of this summer sun into the world. So the element is also associated with a meridian and that's the heart meridian. So summertime is considered the best time of the year to actually also nourish and support and work on the health of our heart meridian and organ system because that's when that meridian and organ is also most receptive to treatment. So before we dive into ways and especially oils to support the fire element and the heart meridian, I just want to give you a very quick overview of the functions of the heart in Chinese medicine. It's a little bit different from the physiological function in Western medicine and, and physiology. So the heart is considered the emperor. It's the emperor of all the organs, super important organ, and it rules the blood, which is the most precious liquid substance in the body. It's the circulator of blood, of course, as it pumps it. So it's responsible for providing a, the proper supply of blood to all the organ systems and body tissues. And that is kind of similar to um, uh, Western science, right? But in Chinese medicine, we also recognize the energetics of that function. And that means that the strength of the heart and the quality and circulation of the pl blood also determine the fundamental constitutional strength of the person. And the state of the heart and the blood affect all mental activities as well as the emotional state. The heart and the blood are said to be the root of the mind, embracing and anchoring the mind so that we can feel peaceful and happy. 
And on an interpersonal level, the state of the heart determines a person's capacity to have meaningful relationships and friendships and to express love for others as well as for themselves. And we say that the Shen, our spirit, lives in the heart, and that's the channel for all spiritual transformation. Shen is also used to indicate the whole sphere of mental and spiritual aspects of a human being, and it governs sleep and memory. So you see how the heart meridian and organ system in Chinese medicine has a lot of other important functions. And um, in terms of sleep, in the summertime, it's actually okay to sleep less in the winter um, in order for our bodies to be able to really deeply nourish themselves. We need to sleep more hours, but in the summer, because the sun rises earlier, and it sets later, it's okay to sleep less, but quality of sleep is still hugely important. So one way we can support the fire element and the heart meridian is actually acupressure, acupuncture, of course, but at home you could do acupressure. And I wanna just share with you heart seven, which is an acupressure point right here below where the pinky is on the inside of the wrist where the first crease is you can press that. It would be good to pay attention to this acupressure point, maybe a couple times a day. Just press it with the intention of nourishing and supporting the heart and that meridian. Um, the name of this acupuncture point is Shenmen, which means spirit gate. It's also the what we call the Yuan source point of the heart meridian. And that means that it accesses the deep, deepest, source of chi, of energy of the heart. Uh, the function of this point is that it calms the Shen, calms the spirit, so it's, it's just a calming point, and it tonifies, strengthens, and regulates, balances the blood and the chi of the heart. It's a great acupressure point for emotional is issues, especially anxiety and worry. And when you combine acupressure with essential oils, that takes it to another level. So I want to give you an idea of three or four actually essential oils that you could use on these acupressure on this acupressure point during the summer, or you can apply it to the heart. Of course, in the diffuser, inhale these oils. These are oils that enter the heart channel. All herbs and essential oils are part of herbal medicine, enter specific meridians and support these meridians and organ systems. So the oils I'm gonna talk about support the heart meridian and the fire element in our body. The first one, one of my favorites, actually all of these heart oils are so amazing, they're all my favorites, is Alang Alang. And you know, the heart oils are also love oils because of course, love resides in the heart too, right? Um, love for others and love for ourselves. Um, so the, entering the heart meridian, um, it, well, it's known as an aphrodisiac. Um, that's because it can quiet and relax tension caused by insecurity, guilt, and anxiety that might lead to the loss of libido. So it relaxes tension by regulating and relaxing the heart chi and harmonizing the shen. And it's also really good for what we call heart chi stagnation. When the chi flowing in the heart meridian gets blocked, the energy, chi is energy, we can experience palpitations, sometimes severe or like what we call chest depression, pressure in the chest, anxiety, insomnia. So Elang Elang is really helpful for all of those things. It very strongly calms the shen, the spirit. So. It's actually a really amazing rescue oil for shock or acute emotional trauma or acute intense emotion. And for that purpose, of course, it's the inhalation where you wanna get that to the olfactory bulb, the molecule, aromatic molecules to the olfactory bulb, and then it will send messages to the brain to calm those, calm the Shen, calm the emotions. Ylang Ylang also nourishes the heart blood and it strengthens the Shen, the spirit. So for that reason, it's also good for chronic anxiety, not just 
acute anxiety because when your heart blood is weak or deficient, you will have a tendency to have chronic anxiety. And Lang Lang is also helpful for anxiety with depression because of its nourishing quality. And in my clinical practice, it's actually in acu my acupuncture practice, it's one of my favorite essential oils to help when a patient has any kind of arrhythmia, rhythm problems of the heart. So for that purpose, I will take a drop or two and apply it directly over the heart. So for palpitations or even actual arrhythmias, that can be hugely helpful and it can actually help pretty much immediately. So you can try that if you have those types of issues. And the next essential oil, another beautiful heart oil is jasmine that I wanna talk about. Another flower oil, right? Uh, these flowers, they just do so much for our heart. Jasmine penetrates the deepest layer of the soul, opening the doors to our emotion. It produces a feeling of confidence, energy, even euphoria and optimism. And by doing that, it will reduce anxiety, apathy, depression, indifference and listlessness. And even it's even helpful for relationship dilemmas. It's called the queen of the night in India because it's also another aphrodisiac and the Hindu god of love, Karma, dipped the tip of his arrow into jasmine and then he would shoot it at someone's heart to pierce it with desire. Um, especially when impotence or um, lack of libido is due to like depression or thoughts of inadequacy or Undesir in undesirability, jasmine is really helpful because its warm, joyous fragrance will allow the heart to flow again through the river of the senses. So that's how its aphrodisiac function works. We say in Chinese medicine that it relaxes and supports the heart chi. So again, it calms the shen and also uplifts the mind. It's one of the most effective oils for restlessness combined with depression. And it's night blooming, so it contains that yin energy of the moon as well, which is a good balance to this uprising of yang during the summer, which can actually sometimes, the heat, the uprising of yang can cause anxiety in people because if it becomes excess or out of balance. So night blooming jasmine, through its yin quality can balance that. And it also, through that yin quality, enhances intuition at, and potential for original thought. So a wonderful um, essential oil, also a favorite of Isis, the Egyptian mother god goddess. And Isis held the secrets of fertility, magic, and healing. And the next one, Rose. Oh my goodness, such an amazing heart opening oil. I mean, it's, it's really the epitome of essential oils of love, right? Ro rose essential oil is actually also a little bit cooling and moistening. And for, for that reason, it clears heat a little bit. Jasmine does that too and balances that yang in the summertime and it helps restore the yin as well. It's good for what we call a disharmony of fire, which can lead to problems of self-identity because the heart represents not only the relationship with others, but also understanding and compassion for ourselves. So Rose enhances love and acceptance for both ourselves and for others. It's a gentle tonic of the heart. It calms and supports the heart, nourishes heart yin, and restores a sense of well-being. Great for nervous anxiety, insomnia, and also for palpitations, whether it's aromatically or applied over the heart or the heart chakra. Um, you know, it's also the holy rose um, of, the, of the Virgin Mary as a symbol of God's love for the world. So um, such an incredibly powerful and special essential oil. Um, I want to just read you a quick quote about Rose from this wonderful book, Aromatherapy for Healing the Spirit by Gabriel Moje. He talks about essential oils in the context of Chinese medicine for healing the spirit. He says that compassion of the flower of Rose 
is revealed through its ability to heal emotional wounds. When rejection or loss has injured our capacity for self-love and nurturing, rose oil brings a sweet, gentle comfort, binding the heartstrings of the Shen, bringing warmth to a soul grown cold through abuse or hurt. Rose oil can touch the deepest despair, restoring the trust that makes it possible to love again. So those are the single, my favorite single oils to support the fire element and the heart meridian. A blend that's really wonderful is joy. And joy contains Elang Elang, geranium, jasmine, rose, and other essential oils that, you know, enter the heart meridian and support the heart. And joy specifically, I love it for opening the heart chakra and for healing a broken heart, um, especially when you're grieving and also to support our inner fire when it is low and when we lack self-love and we kind of can't experience an inner blooming. We feel the lack of something to share like joy or compassion. Joy essential oil blend can be really helpful for that. And all of these oils I just talk about are also amazing perfume oils because they linger. The, a lot of them are base notes and so when you apply them, not only do they smell amazing, but the scent really lingers. Um, of course, the other way to support the heart meridian, another way, there's many other ways, but you know, I'm just gonna focus on oils and I'll um, focus, I'll just mention a couple nu nutritional supplements because nutrition is so important. Um, in general, um, you know, red is the color associated with the um, fire elements, so it's good to eat red foods during the summer, and especially foods that are in season, okay? So watermelons, tomatoes, summer squashes, uh, cucumbers, a lot of those foods are actually also cooling and moistening, which is important during this season of yang and heat. And it's also good during the summertime to eat more raw, and, and in that raw is cooling, you know, rather than cooked. I'm not saying you should go on an all raw diet, it really depends on your constitution, um, but to eat more raw foods in the summer is actually healthy. And also bitter foods, the bitter taste um, has a downward action and somewhat cooling action. So it kind of balances out that uprising of yang. So bitter foods are also good to eat. And nutritional supplements, um, Ning Sha Red, of course. I mean, every season I drink Ning Sha Red. But if you want to focus on a season of using specific oils or supplements, because healing happens over a period of time, right? We don't heal overnight. It usually requires a, a season of being consistent with our nutrition, with lifestyle and habits, exercise, um, food, supplements, oils, herbs, to really have a deeper shift. So if you just want to use supplements seasonally and switch them up a little bit or oils and herbs seasonally, you could also do that. Ning Sha Red is amazing for the heart and the fire element and the cardiovascular system. Um, it's red. Remember I said the color red during the um, summer supports the fire element. Gochizu, goji berry, which makes up Ning Sha Red, is really the ultimate longevity tonic in Chinese medicine that supports all of the body system systems, but also enters the heart meridian and it deeply nourishes the blood. Very important for the heart to have that blood be full and nourished. And um, in terms of scientific research, Ning Sha Red reduces serum triglycerides and cholesterol by up to 80%, reduces inflammation in the cardiovascular system and in the whole body and it slows oxidative damage to the LDL cholesterol, which is the good cholesterol, we don't want that to degrade, and it lowers blood pressure and reduces the stickiness of platelets and the thickness of the blood. So really good for the cardiovascular system. And then there's a supplement by Young Living called Cardiogize, which contains also um, Chinese herbs and other herbs. Well, the Chinese herbs that it contains are Huangqi, Astragalus, and Dangwei, which also nourish the blood and are great for the heart, the heart meridian. And it has supplements in it, such as CoQ10 and selenium to support the heart, as well as other nutrients. And um, all of the 
supplements by Young Living are infused with essential oils and that also helps the delivery to the cells and the specific organs. So um, I hope you found this information helpful. Hi Mona, um, for those of you who joined us a little late, this will be, the recording will be posted in Spruce Society and also on YouTube and um, have a beautiful summer. Enjoy it. I hope it's plenty of abundance and joy and abundant health. And I hope to see you again in the fall. Aloha. I love you.